who'll surely take encouragement from that early sign of nerves in the carry back four. Elworthy, that's a really good cross, up goes Gergi, it's over his head but Derek Daly gathers it at the back post. First touch took him a little bit wide and then it's a wild shot from Derek Daly. Yeah, it's disappointing because he had actually quite a bit of time when that ball comes across from Shane. Hopefully the start of a long and successful partnership. Byrne is only on loan though from Bohemians. A. Durbin under immense pressure there from uh, Rowan Tehan. But uh, Tehan just a little bit over the top with his challenge. Referee Kevin O'Sullivan just steps in to calm things down. Dervin drops in to receive possession. Good ball forward to Daly. That's a good ball in behind here for Joshua Gurji. Gurji carries it inside. Good dribble from Gurji. And a great finish from Joshua Gurji. It's his first ever goal for Longford Town. And they lead by a goal to nil against Kerry FC. There's a ball over the top towards Lynch. Can Lynch take it down? Lynch with an early shot and he almost caught the keeper out. But that's a good save by Wayne Guthrie. Had to adjust his feet very quickly. Managed to turn that one away. Yeah, no harm in that, not a bad strike. Another throw in for Longford, which is quickly taken by O'Connor. He had his thinking cap on there. Derek Daly, good ball on the outside of the boot into Lynch. He holds it up well. It's a good opportunity for Longford now. Daly, shot off the left, never got a hold of it. It's out for a goal kick. Yeah, you can see he was always trying to get the ball onto that left, but... It was accidental, so play goes on, but he has given it away, Gaxa. Durvin. Looking to spring it in behind for Josh Gurgi. Gurgi, he stayed on side. He's taken it down well, but once again, quick off his line there was Wayne Guthrie. Another really poor, uh, important piece of goalkeeping from the first. Almost standing on each other's toes. One of them, Lynch has managed to nod it down for Daly. Daly's got O'Connor on the overlap. He lays it off to the fullback. O'Connor ball to the back post. Probably a little bit too much on it. And good cool defending there from Sean O'Connell over on the far side. who just nods it down. But... Keller will pick up the loose one. That's a good ball forward here to Gleeson. Gax is inside. So is Tehan. But uh, Gleeson just held on to it for a second too long. Looked like he lost his foot and he might have got away with that one there, Gleeson. I think he overcarried the ball. Durbin went in with the challenge. Looked like Gleeson was off balance. Area from set pieces. Here's a chance right towards the end of the first half. It's O'Reilly standing over this one for Kerry FC. Gives the signal. Flows it towards the back post. Up goes Guthrie. He got something on it as well. Come Came off the back of the head of Guthrie more than anything to the ball. Williams, that's a little bit of ill discipline there. He's done really well with his initial bit of defending, but then he goes straight through the back. And Longford taking a quick free kick. And Armstrong, oh, it just flashes wide. Longford caught the Kerry FC defence napping with a quickly taken set piece. And Ar like Lynch was having his jersey pulled there by Hannafin, but the referee thinks it's six and one, half a dozen of the other, and says for play to go on. Kelleher gets a little shove in the back there from Key and Byrne, maybe just a bit too eager to win that one, Byrne. That looked like the uh, the right decision. Free kick to Kerry. He's played well, Williams, uh, in that back back five for Kerry. Yeah, covering across well, because there has been one or two occasions where that ball's been played down that little channel. He's had to sweep across. Connor with the cross, and that's well gathered by Wayne Guthrie. But that, again, was an occasion there where Kerry switched off for his men. Caught under that one there is O'Connell. Armstrong with the cross. Can't pick out a man in a red and black shirt, unfortunately. Maybe should have held on to it for a second or two longer there, Aaron. Yeah, he had a lot of space in front of him. Gets lucky with the breaking ball. You just think if he bides his time. It's Is that A. Durvin over on the far side? Yeah, A. Durvin to take. Durvin floats it in towards the front post. Daly almost got a hold of it, but uh, it seemed to come off his standing leg there, Daly. It wasn't an easy technique, and there was a tug of that pass from Gaxa. Graham O'Reilly sends it forward. Gaxa's ran off the shoulder of Elworthy. Elworthy's missed it. Gaxa should have scored, but the flag was up. Just as well, because there was a lot of time. O'Reilly gets under a good header from O'Reilly. O'Connor. That's much better from O'Connor. He's picked out Derek Daly. Daly with a ball across the six-yard box, but again, the timing of that cross probably just played it slightly too early. Didn't give Dara Lynch too much of a chance to get onto it. At the back post by Vasayu, the substitute. He was facing his own goal. It was a difficult position to be in, but he's been caught pushing up here. Derek Daly, can he keep it in play? Cuts it back to Lynch, and Armstrong steps over it. Kerry players are looking for the flag, and the flag does go up. A very, very late flag. Player sends it all the way to the back post where Gax is ready and waiting. Gaxa, little swivel, drop of the shoulders. And he's just lost his foot in there, Gaxa. That'll be a goal kick. Good decision, good uh, positioning there from the referee, Kevin O'Sullivan. He was very close to that challenge. and he He'll be desperate to guide Longford to a first win of the season. The local boy returning on loan from Shelburne recently. 
It's not a bad ball. And Byrne got first run there. Akeem Byrne couldn't get a clean contact on it. There's a shot from range from Gurji. Easily gathered in the end by Wayne Guthrie. Bed yet. They are leaving themselves in jeopardy of throwing away a potential first win of the season. Gax that that ball just sat up as he went to hit it. McGrath's gathered it though. McGrath with a decent effort and Brady had to rush across his line and save. I think he was always getting to that one, Brady, but again, it's another the prize that's on the line, this first three points that they've been waiting so long for, but the closer you get to that finish line, the more nerves that do sink in. Gax has given his man the turn. Gaxa with a decent shot. He got a hold of that, Gaxa. But it does hit the side netting. Yeah. Well. From the throw, Kennedy. Low cross into the area. Gleason couldn't take it down, although he still has it. Gleason with the shot on goal. Acrobatic effort. That's really, really weak defending from Longford Town, Aaron. That is a, a really, really good chance for Kerry FC. A bit too often off the set pieces, Aaron. That ball in towards the front post, and they've had no real joy off it. Yeah. Very difficult to get your shot on target from that angle. That looked like a good tackle there by Gary Armstrong on Tehan, but the free kick goes Kerry's way. Yeah, it certainly looked like him. It goes straight up to Ibrahim. Didn't get anything on it, but he managed to draw a defender away from Frank Campbell, who took it down. Gurji cuts inside, and Gurji's caught the goalkeeper out from range. A double for Gurji, and that's going to be the match winner as well. Longford Town en route to the first three points of the season.